uh, hello again all my fluid art friends it's Doris at DF Designs I decided that I'm going to pour over this and in case you're wondering I've got 12 little colors out here plus I'm going to do my white so I've already mixed my resin I've already put all my mica powders in there and poured the resin on top of it because I'm going to pour into a divided sink strainer huh so I don't know how it's going to work out um, so my shout out today is the one who gave me this idea because he did it in um, acrylics and that's Nate painting with Nate Nate Cerami I I was so mystified by by those that I just couldn't help it you know um, I have to try it. So I'm going to read, while I'm mixing, I'm going to read off the colors, okay? Starting this way, going this way, I've got Cobalt Blue, Lustrous Blue, Sky Blue, then I got Pink Lemonade, Strawberry Cream, and Sweetheart Rose. Then in the greens, I got Peat Green, Turquoise Green, and Green Blue. And then, oh, these are sideways. Um, then I got Saffron Orange, Coral Reef, and Magic Orange. And, of course, my background is my white. The Rust-Oleum White that I love to use now. So, I put all the mica powders in the bottom. I sanded this and cleaned it off. Because, um, I don't know... Uh, how much white I'm going to end up with because I had mixed believe it or not I mixed 10 ounces, but I got 12 little cups here, too. So That's what the uh, That's what all the mixing is is I got to mix all 12 of these little colors and Basically, I'm going to do put this in the middle after I put my um, base coat on and I'm going to pour you know them into in their each own little compartments and hopefully they turn out good I don't know resin's gonna do what resin wants to do okay nothing we can do about that right so anyway I did want to remind everybody next week I'm not going live on the 16th Tuesday I'm going live on the 17th my girlfriend Joe Patty Valentine is coming over. She has a channel, Fearless Me Art and Design. Okay? She does resin. She does acrylic. She does a lot of stuff over there. Okay? Um, she's coming over and we're doing a live. And it's to celebrate her 60th birthday. Okay? So, we're also going to be doing a giveaway during the live. Okay? So, I want everybody to uh, show up. Because what you're going to do is, is in the live chat, you're going to give us a number, okay? We haven't figured it out yet if it's going to be a number between 1 to 200 or 1 to 100, you know. Anyway, um, and then we're going to have already written down on a paper in an envelope. We're going to have one number written down for the winner. And then whoever um, gets the closest to it, like... An example is if it's 55 and one person says um, 54 and another person says 57, the 54 is closest, okay? Now, if one, if one person hits it on the nose, then the next person will also, the closest person after that, will also win a prize. And... We might have a little prize for the one that's farthest away from the number, okay? So, we, we're probably going to end up giving out two or three prizes at night. You'll see what the prizes are. Um, it's going to be, um, we're going to do, I will do free shipping for it in the United States. Um, if the, and I, I can ship it overseas. Um, most... I hate to say it like if it's like if it's like two pounds it's gonna cost almost twenty four dollars to ship okay so I'm just letting you know but some of the stuff won't weigh that much okay 
because um, I ship stuff that's two pounds to a girl in uh, Edinburgh, Scotland, which is United Kingdom. So anyway, Wednesday, April 17th, 6.30 p.m. Central Standard Time, which is Wisconsin, um, United States time, in the Great Milky Way, like Erica likes to say. I love it when she says that. Um, anyway, so 6.30 on the 17th come over join the live give us your number and then near the end of the live we will uh, show what the number is okay we will open the envelope and hopefully I'll have a moderator if I don't I'll just have a paper and pad uh, paper and pencil near me and as people give me their numbers in the live chat, I will write their name down, whatever name they go by on YouTube. Okay, let me get my, my, my white mixed up really good. So anyway, I hope this turns out. I have no idea. I'm trying to keep this as a short video. I don't want to make it too long, but... I got a lot of colors here, so I'm not going to spin it. I'm not going to, I'm just going to pour, remove the, uh, remove the, uh, sink strainer. What I did was, let me see if I can get this up here. What I did was, was I divided the sink strainer into four, four, um, little things. There's three holes in each one, okay? So that's going to be, um, uh, let me get this over here. That's going to be the um, um, the holes that it comes out of. Okay, let me get my white mixed up really good. I don't know if I have enough white, but I only really need a thin layer, you know. Because I got a lot of colors I'm going to be pouring on there. And let me get the paint off of the stick. Let me get it down in there. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to try to do coasters with, uh, with what's left because um, I'm not going to have any white left. I probably will just um, just um, um, pour them into uh, shot glasses. Okay, here we go. I hope I have enough. We will find out. Let me get my stick and let me... Let me get what I can the last out of the cup. Here we go. And I forgot to turn my phone notifications off again, so I do apologize for that. Um so you'll hear that little beep beep in the background. I haven't been in there all day, and it's got it. Last time I looked, it said that I had like 300 some messages in there. It's like, ah, that's a lot. Okay. I always tell people this when you first turn on your heat gun, point it away from your painting for five seconds, which is how long it takes me to tell you this. You're blowing the dust boogers out. It's the first time I've turned it on today, so dust boogers be gone. Now I'm going to heat this up a little bit, get rid of some of the air bubbles, but I want it heated up because I want to push it. Resin does not flow if there's no resin there, so I wanted a thin layer of a base coat down. So that's what I'm doing right here is spreading this out. I know it's not covering it, but that's okay. That's okay. It doesn't have to. Makes a pretty background. Okay. And I can tell you right now, when I did this the first time, this thing isn't level. It's a piece of galvanized steel. I taped off the back. I had done an uh, angel wing pour on it. And I knew it wasn't level then because the angel wing pour went angel wing pour went everywhere. Okay, just want to make sure I have no dry spots. Now 
and you can almost feel if you got a dry spot or not okay let me clean my finger off now clean it off really really good okay now comes the Nate magic let's see if I can do like Nate did okay um I'm gonna put mine like this so they go this way okay first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the blues I'm gonna do the blues right here and you can see it's starting to come out and I didn't pour all of that one in there because I don't know if I'm gonna need to do another layer or not and then that one's gonna come out and then this one's gonna come out okay now I'm gonna do the pinks over here so you can see it well pink coral whatever okay there's the pink lemonade now resin does not act like um, acrylic paints so I am not too sure how this is going to work now because those are skinny slots that's why they're coming out and see and some of the pink and blues mixing right there but that's okay because when I tilt it, it's going to mix even more. Okay, now I'm going to do the greens over here. See, the blue's almost out. I will have to list these colors in the order I used them below because it's hard for me. I'm trying to, trying to uh, get it all in there quickly so it's hard for me to read the color labels for you okay now see now the blue one's almost empty okay and here are my oranges okay it's turning out pretty I like it I will hit it with the heat gun once I um, get all the resin on there. Um, it looks like it's leaning that way. So, trying to keep these in order too. Okay, now I'm going to go back in with some of the blues. Now I don't know which one's which, but let me just pour some of the blues in here. Because I have some of them left. See, this is what happens when you try to work on an uneven spot. And it's not it's it's not my area that's uneven. This is this thing is bent out of shape. I might turn it around. I think I will. I think I will turn it around. Here we go. Okay, so hopefully now the colors will start going that way. Okay. Now, let me get some more of my pinks in here. I probably didn't need this much resin, but I'd rather have too much than not enough. Come on, I need you to go that way. That way, guys, that way. Okay, now let me put some of the, some more of the green in there, because the green one looks empty. This is a lot of stirring and, and, and pouring.
and then as soon as I put the last of the orange over on that side then I will start um, I will start tilting it a little bit before I take that off okay I don't have much of this left so let me put this guy down in here the colors look pretty together I have a sample set of like 50 micas is um, is what I um, pick these colors from okay Okay, oh, I dripped in there. Didn't mean to do that. Okay, now, before I lift it out, I'm trying to get the last of that out of there. Now, mine didn't have a little, little rubber thing underneath. Okay, now, I don't want it to drip. There we go. Don't know if I'm going to be able to use that again. I did make my little insert thingy with the Tyvek tape. So, Tyve it, ty resin doesn't stick to Tyvek tape. Okay, I see a ton of air bubbles, so let me get some of the air bubbles out. And you can just, you can see them pop as you do this. It is so neat to watch. I'm going to tilt a little bit more and I might blow it out a little bit. Bring it back towards the middle. Bring it back towards the middle. You don't want to tilt too fast. And I don't want to do anything but tilt and maybe a little bit of blowing. So, let me... Let me try to blow this out towards the edge. what that does. do much else to it. I don't see a whole lot else that needs to be done to it. I got all the edges covered. I got some nice cells where it went over the white right there. Just wanted to see what kind of an effect I could get by doing that. Let me see. 
how that does that here. I'm just blowing it back towards the middle and then back out over the white. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna call this done. I love how it turned out. I love how it, how it, see, you can't get the designs in this as you, as you do on, um, in acrylics. So, I'm going to call this one done. When I take it off of here, I might do some squishy coasters. Now, I have no idea if this is going to shift any, because like I told you, this thing is completely warped. So, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much, Nate, for the idea. I will put a link to his channel down below. You can go check out, um, I think he did three of them so far with a sink strainer. So you can go ahead and um, check out his. It's running way over here. That's why I'm tilting it up a little bit. Um, so anyway, so um, I love the resin right out of you guys. Um, I hope to see you in the next video. Um, if you like this, give it a thumbs up. Okay? Anyway, bye for now.